these complex tags nowadays. And I'm not, and I'm not ready for it. I like that he's wearing a Bob Ross shirt. <laughs> that is nice. I like that he's, he's repping it. He's got the chill energy running through his veins. No, I saw uh, Ryoku a little bit in doubles with Boo Bear. Did pretty well. He went wolf? Wolf and Samus. Ooh. And I know that he has like multiple characters. I believe it was at Battle Frontier. He actually uh, he started off with Samus and then he ended up switching to Wolf. So I wonder I wonder who he'll pick this time. Okay, yeah, so Rizzo and Hatakiri. I have it up on the computer now. Do you, are you familiar with uh, who the Ohio person plays? I have a hunch because I went to Ohio and I saw him, but I also don't want to guess because I'll probably be wrong. Because I know Ryoku is like Mario, Samus, yeah, and Wolf. Wolf, yeah. I've seen We had a Samus. database here. It's not on my computer, though. The player database. Yeah, if you type in... Uh, yeah, right there. If you type in Katakiri's name, it should pop up. Oh. That is very convenient. Alright, we got me gunner. me gunner. Is this the Sans? No. But it says by Sans, so I'm gonna guess the setup does not have Sans on it. Okay, I re I remember now in Ohio, he went on stream and literally the whole room was like, E shop, E shop, because they really wanted him to play Sans. I I know what's going on now. <laughs> Is he the uh, individual that won like that tournament right when Sans came out? I don't think so. The, uh, at the Ohio event, the Bowser, a Bowser one. Oh, okay. Right off the bat, we've been seeing a lot of like mixing between the momentum and who has it. I noticed that Katakiri has been doing a really good job for the most part, keeping stage control, and Ryuku has been navigating like through the projectiles pretty well. And usually he ends up kind of losing these trades. Like you can see, he's at a higher percent and he was knocked off stage, but like. For the most part, at least he's not getting punished, you know, like immediately and directly. He's still kind oh. of putting up a fight in neutral. And it gets caught at the ledge. See, he plays Samus. He's used to throwing out projectiles, not getting caught by them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you can kind of see it from Katakiri too, because um, he'll bait out the defensive options that are in reaction to the projectiles. Ooh. Because, like, with a lot of zoner characters, sometimes you're not putting out the projectile necessarily to hit but more so to take away options from your opponent. Yep, oh, and then the charge shot going to take Katakiri's first stock here, and we're even. Oh, there we go. Ryoku kind of finding his footing now. That last hit. Oh, nice nice to grab right there. Samus' grab is so big. <laughs> But if it misses, though, it's yeah. It, it can be a pretty good punish if it misses. Ooh, that was a really good tether right there. It totally just saved him from the Ooh, a smash. Nice, nice. Oh, good catching him back right there. Ryuku was holding that corner so well. Katakiri could not get out of it. Well, I feel like. That's what like Samus is really really good at. You know, she kind of puts you in a corner, traps you with the, all the projectiles that she can throw out. Absolutely. And I think she just has really good like option coverage, like as a character in general, like what I've seen from other Samus players do. Katakiri answering back here. Oh, very nicely done. 
I didn't even see that projectile. No, me neither. He's been really sneaky with a lot of these too. Because he'll put down a few that you think are like, you know, the ones that he's trying to put out, but then he'll cover options just like that. And he's been using the projectiles too to do, you know, his bidding. He's got a whole move set at his disposal. Oh my gosh. That was really well done just to kind of bombard him with all those projectiles, forcing him to shield and then going up and uh... This is very scary. It's a little greedy right there at the F smash. Nice parry. Oh, jab's broken. Oh, nice. This is the grab and and pop up smash. Yeah, Katakiri gonna close close this game off. I literally have a V gunner on my Switch that's labeled not Sand, so I or not Samus, so I think this is kind of funny <laughs> to like <laughs> watch a V gunner fight a Samus. Yeah. Same like up smash and the charge shot. Yeah. Now I wonder if I wonder if Ryoku will make the switch because I know that he has other characters that he does really well with. Yeah, sticking with Samus. If you're gonna fight projectiles, you're gonna fight them with projectiles. They both answered with a missile. <laughs> kind of catching them coming in too. Ryuku's been opting to kind of come in from above too. And I know that it's hard when like a lot of the projectiles that Megunner's putting out cover that like front facing area, but that's exactly what he's been trying to like cover after throwing the projectile. So I think Ryuku has to figure out a way to make it so that Katakiri doesn't get in those positions in the first place. So he doesn't have to work through these puzzles, you know? Nice job covering the ledge right there. Ryuku kind of stuck. I feel like this is this match is heavily determined based off of who can trap who at the ledge first because they're both so heavy with like projectiles. Yep. Yep, and Ryoku closing out the first stock of game two. If he's able to kind of keep this advantage play, I think he, he'll be able to take this game pretty well, but Kazakiri's been doing really well at kind of shifting the momentum towards his favor. Yeah. That was a little greedy on uh, Katakiri's part, too. You know, he's trying to close out that sock because he doesn't want to be in this position, but, like, the F-Smash is, like, right there. Like, I don't know what that was really trying to be covering. It can be tough, though, because, like, you know, Samus has, like, the bombs and stuff to try to navigate around it. He's got to close out this sock somehow. Yeah, Ryoku's doing really well at just like survi surviving. Yeah, and he saved his jump there too. That was super good. Oh, but there it goes. Eventually, the projectiles do get to you. Nice grab immediately off that. Gets a nice little combo. Catches his landing with the F smash. It's got so much range. Nice platform pressure right there. Ryoku has been just playing the runaway game this entire time. Ever since he got hit by that first projectile. Oh, nice charge shot. You know, this is the second, like, me gunner I've seen. The first one I ever watched was, like, see Kayla, but they really do make the character look good. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, the Mii's, they're, you know, they're not really anything. There's better characters, but. Yeah. These, like, both players have made me gunner look pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Nice catch. There it goes. Ryoku up right now. And he's been saving these stocks for a pretty long time too. We've seen him like last stock with like what, like 160 something that he finally died. So it's like, he may be able to tank this for quite a while if he just plays patient. Yeah, that's what he was doing in doubles too. He, he just had really good just like survivability. Yeah, he's gotta stop landing like that though. Oh, but gets yeah. caught. Yeah. The taunt too. Oh my God. <laughs> On to get bodied. That's the usual say. There it is. Catching the bomb through. Nice up B. That's really good just to stop the momentum. Because, like, that's what this set has been so far. And I can feel the nerves in both players to just try to do everything right. Because, like, it's so back and forth. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, very nice. 
Oh gosh. He has no jump right now too. Nice. Using that bomb to navigate past the back air. He's got a charge shot. He tried to catch him in the air, but wasn't able to connect. Oh, this is a scary part. Yep. Oh god. You three, Oko does not want to be in this position. Oh, he tries to catch up. Nice okay. snare. He's got a charge shot. Oh, nice shield. Nice. Catches him yeah. jumping out. You know, I think uh, at the end there, what Ryoko did was, you know, really well. He had the full charge shot, so when uh, Katakiri got up, he wanted to shield because he knew he wanted to shoot it out, and then uh, Ryoko was able to kind of, like, catch him on that uh, that jump. For sure. I see a lot of Samus's kind of do that with, like, when they have you off stage, they have charge shot, and you're like, oh, I need to prepare for that, but they always in the back of their mind, it's not just charge shot. They, I always feel like Samus players have to think about what happens after charge shot, because that's just kind of, like, the threat, yeah. the mind game of Samus. Absolutely, yeah. and it's, it's not even, you don't even have to shoot it. You don't, you could, it's just the threat of it, like, you see it charging, and you're like, oh, the Samus has this charge shot, oh, shoot, like. Yeah. So either they use it right away, or they also just have it as just a threat at all times until you possibly forget about it, and then it gets you. Yeah, and I mean, we, we saw the application there at the end of the game where it's just, like, you don't have to use the charge shot. They'll prepare, you know, themselves for what if you were to use it, even if you, you know, use it in this or whatever. Like, there are so many things you can do with it to put your opponent in where, you know, you want them to be. I feel like Samus is always like very mind game heavy just because of all the things that she can do. Absolutely. And like all the positions that she can put you in with all of her projectiles. It's just, sometimes watching Samus is literally just makes my brain like, it's, it's, oh, I didn't even think about that option because I was thinking about option like A through B and you had C and D already planned out. Yeah, they, it's super, super fun. The character relies so much on like spacing, but also just like positioning and stuff too. Like it's not a movement-based character, yeah. And it's not necessarily like a zone control either. A lot of it is just like strategy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's strategy. It's position. It's like the difference between like Pac-Man and you know characters like uh, you know I, I'd say Pac-Man's actually a really good example because or Snake. Those two characters, Snake, yep. they rely on a lot on like shutting off where you can go on a map. But I feel like Samus works differently in that. She's just trying to put you in a bad spot on the map and then capitalize off of that. Yeah. And as we see here, Ryoku was able to catch Katakiri, close out the first stock of game three. But Katakiri, there's a lot of uh, shifting on who has advantage. It really goes back and forth and pretty quickly too between the two. It's early one jumps over the other one and that person's in the corner and then for like five seconds and they yeah. just keep playing like leapfrog across the stage. And here we see a lot of interaction going on. <laughs> it never stops either. You don't see too many times where they're both on the opposite side just trying to play like the... That's exactly what, what I was referring to. But then right when I said that, they hit each other naturally. <laughs> nice, catching the landing again. Yeah, he's not... Katakiri is not making it easy at all. Like, that projectile seems so hard to navigate through. Yeah, like, how do you get up against that? Like, seems like the the situation is just don't end up shielding it. Like, just avoid the situation entirely. It's tough. I wonder if you can hit it, or maybe it'll explode on you. I'm not sure. Because he was like throwing them when uh, Ryoko was like at the ledge, like holding ledge, and he's just spamming and spamming and spamming and then Ryoko yeah. does like neutral get up but then he's already like getting hit by another one. It's tough for sure. Ryoko kind of taking his time right now. I don't know if... Ooh. Nice. Sheila's the second one. That was... That's good awareness. He's kind of adapting slowly. Oh but getting caught in the air when he's trying to make it back to stage. Back air was a little greedy right there. This is a really tough spot. He's got to close out the stock before he burns too much. Yeah, see, and Katakiri is like in the perfect position oh. that if, if Ryoko were to jump, he's there to grab him or, you know, to, yeah. yeah. Yep, just mm -hmm. always in the right position. Ryoko's in a really tough spot right now. Almost laughing in her sense right now. Yeah, Katakiri. Yeah, that's it. Wow, okay, Katakiri closing out game three. 
Not, not bad games. That was no. really good. Katakiri made it really, really hard for Samus to really find the footing.